2010 semi-final between the West Tigers and Sydney Roosters is always remembered as an epic affair. And why wouldn't it? It took us 100 minutes to get a result. The game is eventually decided in the 20th minute of Golden Point Extra Time when Rooster centre Sean Kenny Dow swoops upon him at Liam Fulton Pass and races 70 metres on a diagonal run to break the hearts of the West Tigers fans. But that wasn't the magic moment in the game. The Tigers had led 15-2 halfway through the second half. The Roosters came surging back. At 15-14, with a minute left on the clock, the Roosters were making one last surge towards victory. But a brilliant tackle by Simon Dwyer, the Tigers' second rower, on Jared Warrior Hargraves, shakes the ball loose, and it appeared the game was over. Oh, and Hammond! And Well, Simon Dwyer has pulled off one of the big hits of the year. And that tackle should win the Tigers this semi-final. Whoa! How good's that? All they had to do was win the scrum, hold onto the ball, and they would advance through the finals. Miraculously low, the scrum breaks up, and Frank Paul Nuasala falls on the ball, meaning the Tigers have now got to defend for 30 seconds to get their victory. It looks as though the Roosters are going to panic their way to a loss. The ball goes out to the left-hand side of the field. They run out of room, pass it back infield to Anthony Minicello. If you can keep your head when those about you are losing theirs. Anastra has parked himself in the backfield, waiting for the opportunity. He screams to Anthony Minicello. Minicello doesn't hesitate. He fires the ball to his captain. It's down Minicello. A long-range shot from the Nasdaq. There are two types of players in this game. When the scores are tight, when the game is in the balance, there are those that don't want the ball, and there are those that want the ball in their hands. Braith Anasta is a player that wants the ball. Luckily for the Roosters on this occasion, he got it. <laughs> 